This is our practical Canton Fair 2023 guide to street smart fairgoers. If you've been away from China or a first time fairgoer, these are our on the street tips for a smooth journey to the Canton Fair. In our previous videos, we discussed substantive issues about the Canton Fair, how to negotiate with suppliers, sourcing contracts, Canton Fair updates, plus how to get a business visa. In this video, we give our on the ground practical tips for attending the Canton Fair. The challenge for business people returning or coming to the Canton Fair since the pandemic is that China has become a cashless society. This trend was accelerated during COVID as all payments are now from cell phone apps. It is challenging to make even the most basic transactions like taking taxis or buying food. You should download the ubiquitous all-in-one app, WeChat. However, it requires real name registration for the app to be bound to a bank card. Recently, WeChat can be bound to overseas credit cards, including Visa, MasterCard, and JCB. However, this is limited to 25 places. Australia, Canada, France, the Netherlands, Hong Kong, Indonesia, Japan, South Korea, Macau, New Zealand, the Philippines, Singapore, Thailand, the United Kingdom, and the United States. If you rely upon cash, you could either be shortchanged or receive fake notes. If you are here for only a very limited time, the easiest methodology is to give a foreign friend or a Chinese guide cash from time to time for them to make electronic payments on your behalf. Alternatively, you could purchase the Guangzhou Metro card from 7-Eleven or another corporate convenience store, top up the card and use it for minor transactions at a limited number of places. If you are here for an extended stay, you should seriously consider investing a day into opening a Chinese bank account and binding the account on a local SIM card to obtain real name registration. Lacking China's mobile payment system, either on WeChat or Alipay, makes it inconvenient for ordering from China's version of Uber or Didi. A frequent frustration for foreigners new to China is that taxi drivers sometimes attempt to take advantage of visitors who can't speak Chinese. A classic sleight of hand trick is for the taxi driver to claim that you gave them a fake note. You gave them a genuine note and the driver swapped it when you were Looking. Always show the taxi driver the note's serial number before giving it to them. Always insist that the taxi driver uses the meter and do not bargain with them. You can call 12315 to speak to an English operator if you have difficulty with a taxi driver. Take a photo of the car's number plate and the, and the driver's card if necessary. Download the Chinese version of Google Maps called Baidu Maps and utilize the route function to guide the taxi driver. Otherwise, you could be taking the scenic tour of Guangzhou. When you arrive at the airport, any good hotel should be able to arrange transport from the airport. Otherwise, catch a bus from the airport bus station or use the metro as it is very cheap and convenient. If you are using cash, you should check the 100 RMB note to ensure it's genuine. A real 100 UN note has a watermark of Chairman Mao's face. China's national crest and the collar of Chairman Mao are embossed on the 100 UN note. You can feel the ridges with your thumb. Understand that in China, there is a 5 UN note and a 50 Sent note. This can be confusing. You should break the 100 renminbi notes to obtain change from corporate chain stores. The traffic during the Canton Fair period can be heavy. Any good hotel should have a bus every day to and from the Canton Fair. Otherwise, the metro is the cheapest option. However, it is often crowded during this time. An alternative route to the Canton Fair complex is to take the tramway that runs from the Canton Tower that broadly connects to the 8DM line that runs the axis of Jujang U Town. We strongly counsel against getting in any black cab to or from the Canton Fair complex as you risk being seriously overcharged. Crime is extremely low by world standards in China. During the Canton Fair, occasionally around transport hubs, foreigners can be subjected to opportunistic petty theft. Have your guard up in these circumstances. Furthermore, you should always be wary of scams and have your street smart wits about you. One classic trick is for someone to invite you for a drink. Then after they have ordered, they disappear. Then you are presented with an overpriced bill for tea. In these circumstances, you should always pay immediately for anything that is ordered rather than let the bill accumulate on a tab. China's streets can be hectic. Before you open a car door, you should look for cyclists or electric bikes before opening the door. If you visit a factory area, you should take reasonable health and safety precautions and always be wary of trucks and other vehicles in industrial areas. You should also download a Chinese translation app onto your phone. You should carry a card or the photo of the hotel's address too.
too. Plus, take a photo of your passport and visa on your phone. In China, the emergency services number is 119. You should have health insurance before traveling to China. In any international travel, you should consider local custom and culture and appreciate that you are in their country. In China, you should not photograph any government buildings or offices. Be safe and enjoy your time in China. We will see you at the Canton Fair. If you like this topic, please give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to hear about a different topic, leave us a comment below.